My name's Audrey Ryder. I live in a two-bedroom mid-terrace townhouse in the middle of Ashburton. It warms up quite well. It's insulated by the neighbours on both sides, um, so they heat me. OK, so here we are today to do our next energy audit at this lovely townhouse in the centre of Ashburton. Built in 1870, it's going to be a real treat to have a look at this one. First of all, um, we're going to have a chat about how you use your heating and hot water, so we've got an understanding of that. So you've got the raven there, yes. and how do you tend to control that? Um, well, it does the hot water yeah. and the heating, um, mm -hmm. and it also um, can cook, but I don't yeah. use it for cooking it really because it's... Um, it works out terribly expensive. There's air sort of coming through here, but I, where that's coming from, I don't know. It's generally where the plumbing comes into the yeah. building, air coming through here. How do you insulate the loft patch? You can attach some insulation material directly onto the top of the wood so that it's mm. so mm. thick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see now. It's quite a big area of purple. It would be simple enough to seal around those holes. Mm. Maybe from up. That's cold air that's coming in. OK, so we've just finished our energy audit and there are four things that sort of stand out as areas that the lady should have a look at with regards to this home. Number one is her electricity tariff. She's getting charged 25 pence a kilowatt hour. That's almost double what most people get charged and it's because she's a low user of electricity. She needs to look at a new tariff. Number two is the loft. There's only 100 mil of insulation that could be increased to 300 mil. Number three is the glazing. She's got a lot of single glazed sash windows that are also very, very leaky. A lot of cold air comes in through those and she could look at secondary glazing. And finally, there are three open fireplaces and they are so leaky that we couldn't pressurise the house properly. So there is a lot of cold air coming through those and those could be filled with a plumber's balloon or something similar to stop the cold air when they're not being used. For interesting things, I'm going to look at a replacement for the Rayburn, perhaps, but it's got to be, it's got to be nice. <laughs> and um, I'll, I think I shall block up some holes and put a bit more insulation in the roof.